Hi everyone, so this is the second vid for the first lesson of parametrics. So all we're doing here is making Cartesian equations. In reality, the equations are just too hard to do it, it's just the maths way around it. So this one's using trig identities, and if you look, it's got sine and it's got cos in there. So I'm going to use sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Right, so I need to rearrange this equation. So if I take away the 3 and divide through by 2, I can replace the cos theta. So I've got an equation to replace the cos theta. Then if I look at the y, if I add on the 1, divide by the 2, that gives me an equation to replace sine theta with. So sine squared becomes y plus 1 all over 2 squared. Cos squared becomes x minus 3 over 2 all squared. Uh, so let's have a look. look. So it's y plus 1 all squared over 4. x minus 3 all squared over 4. Now that kind of looks like a circle. So if I multiply 3 by 4, and then I just want to change the order so it reminds us what the circle is because this is exactly the same there so the center so we know it's a circle uh, the center is three minus one with a radius of two and it says to sketch it so three minus one is there it's got a radius of two, so it might go to there, it might go to there, it goes a bit more, goes a little bit more. So you've got something, ooh, wonky circle, there. Quite like this idea where you have to find the maximum, the top of this circle at the bottom. So if I add it on two, that would be three, one. If I took away two, that would be three minus three. There was a question years ago where you, it made a circle and you had to say what the top of it was, and then you could work out the, the height of it. It wasn't a circle, it was a, um, like an ellipse, but it's still the same idea. But if you knew the kind of max height you'll find. Um, right, so with these questions, what it doesn't tell us is we need to make sure that we can say what the domain and the range is. So we can cheat just from the picture, because I know that if the radius is 2, that's going to go to 1, and that's going to go to 5. So I can cheat a little bit with this one. That x belongs to the reals, such that it starts at 1, ends at 5. But I can um, use the idea that we know that this goes to 2 plus or minus 1, the cos bit goes on, the sine bit goes to 2 plus or minus 1. But I'm cheating here a little bit because I've already drawn it. And the range, so on the y values, um, belong to the real such that, so it goes from minus 3 all the way to 1. There we go. There. The complete fact does it slightly different work. I've cheated and drawn the picture. Okay. Right next. So here we go. Right, so this one's slightly different because it's got a cos 2 theta. So this y equals cos 2 theta. I can see it as cos squared minus sine squared. Or, um, hmm. Well, they did it very, very different to what I do it. I do it as if I've got this one with cos, I'm going to change this one into sine. So I'd have, I know that cos 2 theta is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. And then if I replace the cos theta with a 1 minus sine squared, I've got 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Right, so. So this has become y equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Now I'm going to cheat. I'm still going to use 
sine squared plus cos squared is 1. But look, this one, if I do some rearranging, so I've got 2 sine squared theta is 1 minus y. So sine squared theta is 1 minus y over 2. I can actually replace the whole of sine squared, because it's already squared, with 1 minus y over 2. And then if I look at the other bit, so the x equals cos theta plus 1, that's x minus 1 is cos theta. So then I'd replace that one with an x minus 1 all squared. There. But he wants it in the form y equals. So, how am I going to do this then? Um, I'm times through by 2 first. So I've got 1 minus y plus 2 lots of x minus 1 squared is 2. And then if I take the y over there and take the 2 over there, I get 2 lots of x minus 1 squared minus 1 is y. And that's my equation done. So they did it a different way. Um, there's no real issue there, is there? Right, so let's have a think about this then. So we'll do it the proper way. So for the domain, because it's related to cos, and we know it's going between plus or minus 1. Where's it gone? So minus 1, less than or equal to cos x, theta, sorry, less than or equal to 1. Now that's x minus 1. Uh, you know. So that'd be so x minus, yeah, no, sorry, I believe that's cos theta plus 1. Because that's your x values. So that would go from minus. Ah, I'm getting myself messed up. Let me, let me scribble this bit out. Let me write it again. There. Right. I know that cos theta goes between plus or minus 1. Because it's cos theta plus 1, if I add 1 onto each of these, that's that okay. I'm going from 0 to 2. There. So that's better. So my domain is x belongs to the reals such that it's not to 2. There we go. That's what I kind of wanted to say. But in terms of the range, all right, so let's have a think about this. So cos theta goes between plus or minus 1. Cos 2 theta does as well, doesn't it? Oops. And cos 2 theta is just to squidge a bit more in. So then my range will be between plus or minus 1 as well. So. Should really use f of x and y instead of y. Very, very lazy. There. Right, so question for you, and this last one's done. Don't delete. But if you look, it links a cot and cosecant, and they just rearrange one into the other. There's other ways to do it as well. Right, I'm done. See you later. Bye bye.